What's up everyone? You got Danita and I'm excited to do our workout for those tank top arms today. We're also going to shred that little waistline of yours as well. So we're going to go into building those sexy curves, getting that tight tone lean muscle, which is going to be burning fat up to 24 to 48 hours after your workout. And then we're going to go right into some hit to really keep that cord nice and small. So let's go ahead and go into it. I got some really fun ones today and I'm ready to show you. So a few things about uh, the equipment I'm using. I just want to go over that really quick. So if you're all, if you are jumping in, make sure to get your space set up. You're going to want to grab some weights, have like a mat. Um, I am, be, I am going to be using uh, dumbbells through this pro, uh, through our workout today, and we're hitting every single area for those tank top arms. So if you're ready to get that tight tone sculpted look, this is a great fun workout um, that you should definitely save for later if you can't do it right now. So. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So one is uh, the barbells are super, super fun utilizing to do like at home workouts with made with pure steel. Um, as you can see, it's a four foot bar making it super easy to do these workouts as well. So I will show you some of the workouts using with the bar. The other one we've got is the dumbbells. Again, you can make them versatile to whatever um, weight that you have. So if you are looking for a little heavier weight, you can add the teal and the purple. Or if you're looking for something lighter, you can obviously kind of make it your own. So you can see like the difference here of if you want it a little heavier or lighter. Start off with lighter for our warm up. So if you're just getting started with me, make sure you got like a little lighter set like this. Or even what you can do is um, just grab the plates itself, okay? And if you're just logging in, go ahead and just comment your name and where you're from down below so I can check you guys out. Set to do our workout for today. Um, I've got some booty bands over there that are really awesome. You got four different levels of those, and then also a few other things that we'll go into as well. So let's go ahead and dive right into the dumbbells. All right, top messy bun is required. <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go into first a row, a back row, and then with a tricep kick, okay? So for what you wanna do with this, you want to hinge at your hips, and you want to have a nice straight flat back all right and your core is nice and tight now if you are not able to do this and you would prefer um, to have your back a little bit more supported you can easily grab a bench and you can go like this okay so either one if you want to use your core to embrace you or you can use a, a bench and this bench I do have listed in the products as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We want to start off with a nice light warm up. Again, you can use the plates if you want for your warm up. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to hinge at the hips. You want to focus on that back and the muscles in your back working. So what you're going to do is you're just going to focus on squeezing up through the back and then you're going to kick it back with those triceps. Good. So you want your weight to come more towards your hips than anything else, and then you're going to extend it back out, okay? Slow and controlled. You want to focus on building the muscle here, really feeling the muscle, so having that mind-muscle connection, extremely important. Good. Keep going, keep going. All right, so here we go. We're going to go into that self-love journey. I want you to say three positive things about yourself right now. Whatever that is, I want you to say it right now to yourself. I am strong, I am beautiful, and I am in progression. Whatever those are, say them out loud to yourself. They can be a little bit different than mine. I am strong, I'm beautiful, and I'm in progression. That's how we start off every one of our warm-ups as we focus on empowerment. Self-empowerment, that self-love exudes into everything else. Good. So right there, we just hit the back and the triceps. The next, we're gonna go into the biceps and the shoulders, okay? So you're gonna kinda give me a nice little squat, keep that core nice and tight, bicep curl, and you can twist it and go into a shoulder press, or you can hold it right here and go into that shoulder press. Whatever one you prefer. Here we go, nice, slow and controlled, keeping that core tight. We're still in our warm up, so I want you to keep thinking those positive words to yourself. What are those affirmations again? This time, instead of saying them out loud, I want you to feel them. I want you to feel I am strong. I want you to feel I am beautiful. And I want you to feel 
I'm in progression. That's it. So whatever your affirmations are today, I want you to, instead of just saying them, let's feel them. Let's get closer to our goals by thinking and embodying them. That's it. Good, I'm already feeling the burn in all the right places. That's what it's about. Put curves in all those right areas. Good, and make sure you're breathing. That's super important as well. So we're hitting two areas. We're hitting biceps and shoulders. So each one of these workouts are really quick and effective because you're hitting two muscle groups in one. All right, the next one we're gonna go into is our upright row out into our out. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna just have your dumbbells here, bring them right up under your armpits, your elbows are nice and high. Then you're gonna bring your arms down and bring them out into a lateral raise. So right out to the side. Your elbows are slightly bent on that, okay? So here we go. Take it up, take it out. Good, that's up. Make sure you're breathing. Core is nice and tight. I'm kind of squatting in this because I'm trying to stay in the frame. But you want to have a nice slight bend in your knees if you're standing. So I'm going palms facing towards me right here, then palms face together. Good. Nice, good, sexy arms coming at you for summer. Here we go. Good, we're gonna triple those results, because why? Building lean muscle burns uh, the fat up to 24 to 48 hours after your workout. And then we're gonna include some HIT, which is also gonna do the same thing, 24 to 40 days after your workout. All right, next we're gonna go right into our chest and our core. So you're gonna bring it down to the mat. This one's a fun one, so check this one out. You're gonna hold it into a plank. Now, if you're a beginner, and this is obviously our warm up, so we're starting with light weight, you're gonna hold into that plank and you're just gonna tap from one shoulder over to the other. So just tap, 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 tap. Good. Just hold it here, focusing on that core and that chest. Good. After you do about five of them, you're gonna drop it down into a push up. So here we go. That's one on both sides, that's two. Love it, right into that push-up, let's go. Now remember, in your push-ups, your elbows are not going straight out to the side. It's not a T. You want your elbows to come more in like a low V. So bring those elbows down and back. There you go. Squeeze that chest when you push yourself up. Love it, stay strong, keep breathing. Keep saying positive things. Now remember, this is a workout that you can do with your kids. So when you say put yourself first, that just means put yourself as a priority. Make your kids see the example that you live every day. Bring them into your healthy lifestyle. Let them meal prep with you. Let them do these workouts with you. They will have so much fun when they're able to sit and incorporate these fun movements with you. Go and turn up that music and party. Good, so that completed our first round. Now, if you're just joining me, that's okay because we're just getting started. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the HIIT workout, and this is where you want to shred fat fast. I don't want you to even breathe, okay? Meaning, I want you to breathe, but I don't want you to talk, okay? Let's, let's actually say the truth there. So, as fast as you possibly can, it can literally be whatever HIIT you personally prefer. Um, if you can't do the ones I'm doing, just switch it up and do what you can, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna place a booty band on for this. So if you've got a lovely booty band at home, just grab that. This is a level three. It's gonna burn my butt. Good, when you get it, go a little faster. Good, a little faster. Whatever you want to do, get that heart rate up.
Good, bring it down. Now, monitor yourself right now. Are you at the point you can barely talk? See, I can't even talk and I have to breathe. That's where you wanna be. So if you're not there, you wanna make sure to do that on our second round, okay? Whew. Grab some water. We're gonna hit our second round, adding a little bit heavier weight this time, okay? Shred fat fast. Keep those curves. Heavier weight. Okay, first one is going to be our row with our tricep kickbacks. Hinge at the hips. Drop it nice and low, straight back. Your gaze is looking right down at the mat. You're gonna squeeze the weights up towards your hip using your back, and then you're gonna kick it back with those triceps. Good. Drop it down, squeeze it up, kick it back. That's it. Slow and controlled. You already went fast. Now it's time to slow it down. Breathing, focusing. Love that burn. Feel yourself getting stronger. Good. Focus on the muscles you're working right now. Are you working your back? Are you working those triceps? That's it. Good. Oh man, loving that burn. Okay, now, if you can add, keep that same heavy weight, if not, drop to a little lighter weight, that's always okay. We're gonna go right into that bicep with that shoulder press. All right. Make sure to hit and follow if you guys are loving this workout. Right up here, go ahead and hit and follow. Love to see you guys in our seven day series we got going on right now. All right, here we go. Take into that bicep curl and then right into that press. Down and down, good, keep going. I'm just gonna raise the screen so you guys can see me. Keep going, bicep curl, shoulder press. Hitting two muscles at the same time. Let's go, slow. Breathe, tighten that core, feel those muscles working. And remember, lean muscle, one pound of lean muscle that you build will burn up to six calories in that one pound of muscle a day at rest. Now, one pound of fat only burns two calories a day at rest. So what does that mean? While you're lifting weights right now, you're shrinking that waist too. That's the good news. Goodbye stubborn fat. Hello sexy tank top arms. That's it. Good. Kind of shake it out. Dance it out. Okay, we're gonna go into our third one. Upright rows into our out, all right? Now I'm a little weaker in this shoulder area, so I'm gonna drop back into my lighter weights. All right. Slightly bend in your knees, core is tight. Bring those weight up towards your armpits. Bring it down, palms come together and go out. Good. Take it up and go out. Love it, keep going. Stay with me, we're just featuring the dumbbells right now, so I'm gonna bring that up to screen. Again, feel those muscles. Are you connecting to your body right now? Are you recognizing that you are gonna be burning more fat by lifting weights, you're gonna cut that fat and keep the curves. If you're ready to get sculpted, toned, defined, this is how to do it. And guess what? It does not have to be long workouts. You're gonna intensify your workouts with me. We're gonna lift and we're gonna shred. That's how we do it. Good. You're doing awesome. Keep going, feel those muscles. If you're starting to feel the burn, that's where I want you. Good. Next one, we're gonna go right into those plank push-ups. So we're gonna go into the chest and the abs for our last one here. This is only our second round. We still have one more after this. Take it down. 
Now the first round, I did a modification, and that was essentially just dropping right here. You can stay there if you want, but if you wanna take it up a notch, jump up on those toes, here we go. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. You know what's next. Drop it down to that push-up. Slow and controlled. Just feel your muscles. Just feel yourself getting stronger. Don't focus on anything else. Just drop it down. And if you need to drop to your knees, tell yourself that that's okay. Because this is all about progression over perfection. We're gonna get there. But it takes time. Look at me. I even dropped to my knees. No guilt. No shame in over here. All about just listening to that body. Good, drop it down. I'm gonna challenge myself. This time I'm gonna try to take my chest all the way to the mat and then come back up. You ready to do it with me? Boobs all the way to the mat, then come up. Good, let's just do one more. And then we're gonna go into the shred. You love the shred part, I know you do. <laughs> All right, good work. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, anything to get the calorie burn up. Anything that's gonna just, oh my gosh, I'm feeling those arms. Whew. Okay, so anything you choose does not have to be mine. All right, anything to get that heart rate up. I like to place a booty band on for this to intensify the workout a little bit more. I told you I hate burpees and I hardly ever do them, but today I'm gonna do burpees to do my heart rate up. So what are you gonna do? Ready? Turn the music up. Let's go. You can't breathe after this. Can't talk. I want you to just completely exhaust yourself. Challenge yourself here. I'm gonna jump a little higher. We're almost done. Give me your all. Take you to the next level. One more. Okay, let's see if you did it right. If you were to talk to me right now, would you be gasping for breath in between? Tell me, are you gasping for breath like this? If you are, then you did it right. Good job. Okay, now I have to let that breath come down a little bit. Grab some water. Still stay in a little movement. Dance it out. Heavy breathing. That's okay. You should a couple burpees, what it can do for you. Holy, holy cow. Love it. Oh my gosh. I hate to do those more often. All right, if you're still with me, baby girl, we have one last round to hit our third set. Round, what am I saying, third round. Okay, so again, same thing. We're gonna hit the triceps in the back. We're gonna hit the biceps and the shoulders. Shoulders and shoulders, and then chest and core. That's the routine, you got it now. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn up the music. I want you to focus, I want you to zone. I want you to feel those muscles getting stronger. And at the very end, we're gonna go into that shred again, okay? So grab a little heavier weight, time to party. Going back to the dumbbells. Let's go. All right. Go big or go home. Hit it. Feel those muscles. Connect. Breathe. And guess what? If you need a drop down in that weight, totally fine. Progression, let's go. Good 
You're doing awesome. Keep the focus. Love it. Love your body. Look what it can do today. I'm so proud of you. Right into it. Bicep shoulder press. Oh, I'm proud of you. Keep it up. Breathe. Let's go. Slow. Controlled. Oh, I'm proud of you. Good work. Next weight. Take it up. High. And out. Palms facing you. Facing each other. You're strong. You're gonna finish. Let's go. Even if you needed to, drop the weight. Oh, I'm so proud of you, all right. This is the last one for the build. And then we're gonna go into the shred and then we're done. That's it, let's go to the plank. Modification on your knees, drop that booty down. You're gonna go into five taps. And then you're gonna go into that push up. Advance, jump up on your toes. Take it for me, let's go. Push up. Five, four, Three, two, take it down. Connect. What are those muscles telling you right now? Are they tired? Or are they just getting started? Oh, feel them. Stretch them out right here. Oh, they deserve that. Big deep breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Whew. All right, you know what's coming. Last part. This is our shred. So anything you can do to get that heart rate up, because in the end, I don't want you talking. So let's grab that booty band. What is it gonna be? I wanna know. What are you gonna do for your shred? You wanna follow me? I'm gonna do some burpees. Now remember, if you can't do burpees, that's okay. It's progression, baby girl. You do whatever you can do to get that heart rate up. Maybe that's just run in place. Maybe that's jumping jacks. Whatever it is, okay? Music's going up. Get yourself ready. Let's go. That dance at the end is required. Everybody, get down, feel yourself. You just worked that body. You got stronger. You feel more confident. Yeah, that's what working out does for you. Don't forget the boosting the endorphins part. Whew. Feel so good after a workout. 
All right, I'm super proud of you guys. Super proud of you. So, we just did a killer workout. We focused all about building the lean muscle in our arms, which is gonna sculpt our body. Cut fat and keep your curves. What it's gonna do is when you build that lean muscle, it's gonna burn calories 24 to 48 hours after this workout. So, that's why it's gonna shrink this. Uh-huh, see where I'm going with this? So grab those weights, those resistance bands, that's important. The next important thing about your waist, that protein. Now, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Make sure that you fuel your body within 30 minutes after your workout. It's so important to work the muscles and then fuel the muscles. All right, so this is a vanilla plant-based protein. Um, really amazing tasting, best tasting in my personal opinion. Um, and it's got 15 grams of protein and only one gram of sugar. This thing is amazing. So make sure to try it out. It's right here listed in the comments. Just take that nice good inhale, reach those arms up. Good, and then you're just gonna grab the wrist and you're just gonna bring it over to one side. And just right here, thank yourself for being here today, showing up for yourself, being appreciative for your body, for what it can do. So often as women, we get stuck in that cycle, that self-sabotage loop where we think bad, we feel bad, and then we do bad things to our bodies. But instead, we're gonna focus on self-love and we're gonna to start to really reverse that loop with each other right here, right now. Grab the other wrist and now pull it over to the other side. Big inhales. And if you really liked this workout and you're ready to see more, make sure to hit follow because I have a seven day series that you're in right now. And if you wanna see the other workouts where we go into glutes and abs and all the other unwanted stubborn and fat areas and build and shape those curves, then join me. Go ahead and clasp your fingers behind you like this and then go ahead and hinge at the hips and allow your arms to hang up over and just keep on breathing. And perfect, our music just decided to connect at the same time we wanted to do a cool down. Go ahead and just touch the toes and roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. And if you get lightheaded, I just want you to hold it right here. Sometimes when you bring your body up and down, I usually can sometimes get lightheaded and who knows? Maybe not everybody, but I just wanna make sure that you don't either. Roll those shoulders back, squeeze them up, and then squeeze those shoulders back. And then you're gonna reverse it. You're gonna now take them back and then bring them forward. Again, focusing on all the self-love loop instead of that self-sabotage. We're gonna focus on progression over perfection. We're gonna focus on replacing instead of restricting. We're gonna focus on a lifelong transformation instead of just quick fixes. We're gonna really focus on this the right way, putting our health first. Good, and then what we're gonna do is we're just going to arch the back. I'll turn to the side so you can arch the back, bring it down to the legs, and then you're gonna round the back. I'm gonna do that for two more times. You're gonna arch the back, breathe as you do this, and then separate your spine as you round the back. Good, breathe through it, same thing, arch, and then round. Good, go ahead and take the palm and just stretch out your forearms. If you feel like you're at a desk a lot and you just need to stretch out those arms, this is gonna feel pretty good to you right here. And then that same arm, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it up over the back of the head, grab that elbow and just press it down towards the spine closer to your buttocks. Bring it down, bring it down. Big inhale. Exhale, try to push it down even a little bit more. Yeah, and open up those arms. You're not gonna go to the other side. Grab those fingers and just press the palm out. And make sure you keep breathing. Breathe at your own pace. Love it, you're doing awesome. You're almost done for today. Take that elbow now and just push it down, bringing it all the way down that spine. Good, inhale, exhale, get a little deeper. Walk those fingertips down. 
And then I want you to, just to take your arms and wrap them around yourself. And I want you in just five seconds, feel the embrace of yourself. Embrace yourself. Just feel your whole body with love that you were able to focus on you. Maybe you were able to invite your kid in and show them some positive habits and what you're going to start building in your life. Whatever that is, I want you to start focusing on you. All right, lots of love. You guys have an amazing rest of your night. Bye.